Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design, and in today's video, we're talking about the Morocco Plus IR Optical Zoom. Now, when this scanner first came out, we did a review video. We talked about the IR Optical Zoom as one of the three big new features, including PMK and Global Marker Alignment. Now, PMK and Global Marker Alignment will get their own video. We'll talk about that as soon as the RevoScan software gets its next update, and then we'll cover all that information for you. So if you're still waiting to decide on whether or not you want this scanner, make sure that you subscribe and we'll cover that in a future video. We also do have a Metro X laser scanner on the way, so we will be covering that as well. So if you're trying to hold off and figure out whether or not you want the laser scanner that they offer, or if you're trying to decide between one of the Morocco's, then hopefully we'll have all that information ready for you. But in this video, we're gonna focus solely on IR optical zoom. Now, remember that we are a RevoPoint affiliate, so if you are looking to help out the channel, you can use our affiliate links in the description. We'll also put in codes that we have available for the Morocco Plus, as well as the other Morocco's and some of the other scanners that we covered. The discount on the Plus right now should be about $100, but the discount does change depending on what they have going on with their own sales. So make sure that you do try out the discount codes, even if you don't want to support the channel, you'll be able to get a little bit of money off. So with all that said, let's dive into this. Remember that the Morocco is a self-contained scanner. Now, this means that while you're using the scanner, everything that you need is right here. You don't need to be tethered to a laptop or a desktop. All the capture, all the processing can happen right on this unit. But the big thing that we need to understand is that the Morocco, as well as many other 3D scanners from RevoPoint, are going to be an IR structured light. Now, IR or infrared is not visible to the human eye. But basically what it does is it either puts out a bunch of lines or a grid pattern, and then it captures that information on the depth cameras. It brings that information back and then it builds out our point cloud. With that, it's also using IR LEDs on the tops and the bottoms of all these cameras. And those IR LEDs are helping to illuminate our objects. And this is why when we're setting up our scans, we play around with the exposure values. Too much exposure, we're not gonna get good information back. If it's underexposed, it's gonna be too dark and we're not gonna see what we're scanning. So with all that said, the IR optical zoom's main function is to focus the IR light. It's not getting you a higher resolution scan, not zooming in so you can capture smaller details, but what it's actually doing is it's helping to better illuminate those smaller details in a smaller area when we're using the capture modes. Now this does have a near and a far mode because it has two different sets of depth cameras and the IR optical zoom works on both of those modes. So you can play around with it on your large objects, especially if you have inconsistent lighting in your workspace. In this one, I've got hex lights on the ceiling, so everything's pretty well illuminated in here. But if you are working in a darker area, then using that IR optical zoom might help capture that detail. So now that we know a bit about what it does, let's take a look at a couple of examples that it works on and ones where it just doesn't do anything different. So the two examples we're gonna look at, this is a brush guard from one of my KTMs, and this is a shiny white plastic part. It's got an overmolded orange section, and it's got the different colors. The, the Cherubis logo here is orange, and it's overmolded through the white plastic. So this is a case where IR optical zoom actually does help. The other one that we're gonna be taking a look at is this turbo compressor housing from my Kawasaki GPZ. Now this is something we've scanned several times on this channel, and it still has scan spray on it because I haven't really touched the bike. But when we have scan spray on an object like this, this is an area where IR optical zoom isn't really gonna do much for us. So let's talk about this one first since I'm holding it and I'm covered in powder, and then we'll talk about the other one. So when you are using IR optical zoom, the main point or the main focus of this is to help illuminate areas that have inconsistent texture or maybe have some self-occlusion or shadowing. When you're using scan spray on an object like this, the scan spray itself gives you a nice consistent surface finish. This improves the, not only the ability to capture that detail, but it also means that things like our exposure values are much lower when we're scanning an object like this. And because of this, the consistent surface texture from the scan spray, we don't really need IR optical zoom. A 1X is going to be just fine, which is gonna be the same between the base model Morocco and the Pro, as well as the new Plus model. Now, I did mention there are some improved accuracies. Single frame accuracy is better on the new model. 
There is an update to the calibration board. So you may see a slight difference in picking up some of these casting details, but it's not going to be due to the eye or optical zoom. When we take a look at the other object, the, bar, the brush guard in this case, um, this is a situation where eye or optical zoom does actually help. And the main area that we're going to see it help is going to be at the base or the corners between the letters and the rest of the model. Now what's actually happening here is when we're not using IR optical zoom and we're just scanning this object, the self shadowing at the corners of these letters, because they are quite a bit taller than say the casting marks on the turbo, those are areas where we're not going to get good information bouncing back to the scanner. Generally, when we scan, we want to keep the scanner perpendicular to the surface. And when we've got letters like this or areas where we've got tight sort of valleys or creases, we just really can't get into those areas. Now, using the IR illumination to focus in those areas is going to get us better resolution at the root or the corners of those transitions. And this part has a lot of angles and most of the angles are OK to pick up. But some of the areas will certainly benefit from using IR optical zoom. Now, remember that IR optical zoom is something that you can use in near and far mode. I find it's going to be probably more beneficial in near mode because that's when we're trying to pick up those finer details. Um, another thing to note is that scanning something like this mesh pattern, this is something that IR optical zoom actually does help out with as well. There are a lot of different angle transitions that happen. And when you're using the traditional 1x, which is going to be what you get from the base or the pro model Morocco, you're not illuminating those transitions as well. So using IR optical zoom of one and a half or 2x will get you a little bit better detail on patterns like this sort of mesh or vented area. It's not going to be a perfect solution, but there is going to be a visible difference, even if it's minor. So with all that said, IR optical zoom, is this the feature that's going to make or break the Morocco Plus? I don't think so. You're not going to buy a Morocco Plus just for that feature. You're going to be looking at the PMK or global marker alignment. But hopefully now you have a bit of a better understanding on what it actually does and whether or not it might be useful for you. Now, if you have any questions on this, please let me know. I am going to put some mesh files in the description of this video as well. And I'll label whether or not they came from the Morocco or if they came from the Morocco Plus. And that way you can hopefully just get a better understanding on what each of those does. Now, all the files were processed exactly the same, the same settings for the point fusion and the same settings for overlap detection and isolation. And if they're converted to mesh, all the same settings were used across the board. So there should be no difference in the way that the scan was captured all the way to how it was processed. And I didn't do any advanced smoothing or anything like that on any of the scans. So it's going to be basically raw data that you can look at. But if you have any questions on this, please let me know. If you want to see more on the IR optical zoom or any specific features of the Morocco Plus, let me know. As I mentioned, we will be covering global marker alignment and PNK in a future video. And we do have that Metro X laser scanner coming, which hopefully we'll get a video out on that next week. So once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.